So Christy and I have pulled up to a campsite yet again at 1130 at night. But it's a pretty cool campsite and in the morning we'll show it to you. Um, luckily we didn't have to go through this little water crossing tonight because it does seem like it's a little bit deeper than normal. Also the trail seems like it's a little bit rutted out compared to normal. I have seen a lot of chatter about some folks online hitting this trail a lot. This is the Hurricane Creek Trail right off the interstate. Um, near Harmon Den Wildlife Management Area. So it has become a little bit more popular than what it has been in the past and there's evidence of that being on the trail. Um, so can't wait to see what that water crossing looks like in the morning and can't wait to uh, wake up and get into the uh, warm weather because it is, what is what is the? The low's 25. Yeah, the low's 25 <laughs> and it's currently like 35, which is really not that bad though. The humidity's not. The coldest part will be Five, six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, waking up. Mm -hmm. So that's the current situation. Stay tuned. I will say though that the cool thing about sleeping in the rig is the fact that whenever we pull up to camp, we can get everything set up relatively quick. What would you say, babe, it took for us to get all this set up? Five minutes. Yeah, I'd say about five minutes. And Christy's gonna sleep up there. This is actually the first time we've ever tried this uh, little config out here. So the way that we've got it set up is we've got one of these little thin like mat things and then I've got just a Coleman sleeping pad which I will say I had one of these before that worked out very well except for right here broke these tabs they have significantly improved this part of it I'll say that also the material feels thicker it feels like a different type of material than the old one almost felt like a vinyl this feels like a canvas almost as well as the pillow that popped a leak um, they don't have a pillow in this any longer which the pillow actually was more of a novelty and didn't really work anyway so I'm glad to see that they actually made some improvements so good job Coleman kudos to you guys she's actually in the process of trying to take mine over as we speak she's raving about how comfortable it is it's not Tempur-Pedic. It's like memory foam. It is memory foam, but it's not <laughs> Tempur-Pedic. It's designed by NASA. All right, so it's gonna take her a few times to get the hang of getting in and out of there, but for the most part, it's pretty easy. Now, I don't think that she can get in and out whenever I'm right sleeping. Here. Yeah. That's gonna be a community effort to go pee in the middle of the night for sure. But overall, once you're in there, what do you think? Comfortable? I don't, I don't feel like I'm laying on wood. You don't? No. Good. So you can feel the padding? Yes. All right. And you don't feel like you're in a coffin? No. You're not like freaked out at the fact that your head and, and is right there at the roof? No. All right. Well, good. Success. She likes it. <laughs> now if we can just turn the heat on. <laughs> Here's the water crossing I was telling you about last night. It's really not bad at all. Last night it just looked a little bit rough. Not bad though. As per usual. Thing about the water crossing though is if it's one of those deals that can you do it? Sure. But no matter what, it's still gonna be risky. Anytime you attempt any kind of obstacle like that, it's risky. And if you can avoid the risk, then do it. So last night, I avoided the risk, is what it is. Good morning, what's happening, Sir William? And we are now leaving the Hurricane Creek Trail, where Christy and I arrived last night at around 11.30 and camped out. Christy got to camp out on her sleeping platform for the very first time. You see, we actually built this uh, right before we went on Land Between the Lakes. And then once we went to Land Between the Lakes, we had to bring the dogs so there's nowhere for all of us to sleep so we did bring a tent there so she has not slept on it until last night and the conclusion is comfy comfy and last night it was 34 33 degrees i think mm -hmm. at some point um so it was pretty cold there's still snow on little traces bits of snow but to us that's a lot of snow <laughs> it's our first sighting <laughs> first sighting of snow this year so we're pretty stoked about it um, but yeah now we're headed off into nashville and we plan tonight to go see uh the opryland at night uh, i heard they have a pretty good christmas display so i'm looking forward to that 
and from there we'll be hanging out with some family and we're gonna be registering Apple in Tennessee for our move so that ought to be exciting so that's the current situation check out this view though that we got Real quick, I wanted to share something with you. So you see that it's S2, S3, S4. All right, so that right there, actually, contrary to most people's belief, does not mean sport. It actually means sequential. Sequential meaning that it's going to shift in order one, two, three, four, right? But it's not gonna go any further than whatever gear you put it into up there. So if it's in third gear, then it'll go one, two, three, and three, two, one, but it will not go any higher than third gear. A lot of people think that you're actually controlling the gears. I was one of those people that thought that you were controlling the gear you were in. What I found was it just will not let you go any higher. And after doing a little bit of research, that's what it stands for, is sequential. So, food for thought. See them BMWs right there? Yep. You find folks paid for the extra German engineering. And things ain't made in Germany, they're made right here in South Carolina. Heading on up through the Tennessee Mountains to get to your home. Yep. Look it up. You don't believe me? Made right there in Greenville, South Carolina. Nashville. Pretty dope though. We've ended up in the buy one get two free boot place. I mean, I found out why you get the second two pairs free. Listen to the rationale that Chrissy just gave me on it's really worth it because of the fact that if you were to buy three of these pair of boots, they would cost you the three sixty nine, and I and I agree, they probably do, and they probably do cost the three sixty nine. But my only thing is, is it's a clever scheme to get you to buy three hundred sixty nine dollars worth of hundred dollar boots. Just my one pair of boots at home is three hundred. Oh, so so what you're saying is you already have a pair of these boots? Hey, take a look at this brisket though. Ooh, boy. Christy's trying to figure out how the hell she's gonna eat hers. <laughs> Unreal. That's bigger than she is. So I'm not one to brag on themed restaurants, but I'll let that speak for itself. You saw what it did look like. Christy devoured her sandwich too, and for her to finish it, I'm trying to tell you. That's impressive. Yeah. It's the George Jones Nashville style barbecue place. George Jones place. What a wonderful world. You all read over there. So here's 
something interesting. If you get your face put on the bar like that, I mean, this is Kid Rock's bar. And if you get your face put on that, come on now. Pretty cool. No, it's the <laughs> damnedest thing. <laughs> Yeah, the, the ceiling lights. 